Welcome to Wired Pulse AI. The entire Wired team is thrilled to be here today with you at the iconic Barbican Centre. It's a really exciting, fun day, and hopefully it's going to have an impact on everyone who's here. Right, on to the good stuff. AI, very importantly, isn't just one technology. It's a constellation of technologies that have enabled new capabilities across many different applications and domains. It's so fantastic to have public events like this where everyone is invited to participate in a conversation. And I think it's really important to have that happen on a weekend so that it's as inclusive as possible. So congrats to the WIRE team. <laughs> per dollar spent, we are by far the most efficient AI and machine learning company in the world which is really the story of Europe. I really want Europe to take leadership in technology in the same way as we took leadership in mobile communication by creating the GSM standard. So my passion is to get the European community to build the standard for AI and machine learning, which I like to call the global standard for AI or GSAI. Imagine a future in which deaths on the road are so uncommon they make headline news instead of a footnote in the local newspaper where roads in our cities are no longer congested and time which used to be spent sitting in traffic can instead be put to more use. I'm going to be talking about taking human laws and translating them into machine processable algorithms. How we can help machines to think like humans uh, when those machines are doing human tasks. I'm going to be talking about whether artificial intelligence can be creative. We think that that's something that might be uniquely human, but there's a lot of evidence emerging that actually AI can learn from human creativity and perhaps push our own creativity into new realms. Having a lot of young girls being exposed to technology in such a positive way um, really makes me happy. And so the AI community of tomorrow is the one that I'm most excited about seeing benefited. Today, more than 10 million Parkinson's patients are out there in this world suffering. And we have the tools to bring science to the age of internet and AI and tackle our biggest medical challenges ahead. The current way of how we are doing science is really broken. We need to use novel technologies like artificial intelligence to connect the information in the most meaningful way so that we can ask more informed questions and find cures. I will be talking about how law is disrupted by new technologies. So I'm a lawyer by background and I look at the legal frameworks that we have and assess whether inferential analytics, for example, is posing new risks and if the law is fit for purpose. If we don't have self-defending AI technology protecting our corporate networks and every device that we use, we're not gonna be able to defend with humans. There's no way we're gonna be able to throw enough security experts at this problem. AI is here and now, so you can actually use Darktrace's system to fight cyber attacks now, and it's based on the principles of the human immune system, and I, I saw a lot of people taking notes on that. I think one of the biggest dangers in AI is uh, narratives of fear. The fact that there are lots of ideas which are simply untrue and we need to use art and conversation to retune what people think. And that's my job being here as part of the conversation to adjust and make people realize what is true, what not is false. 